Hello everyone and welcome to another video on JavaScript programming. Kaushal this side from Simply Code and today we are going to discuss the document dot get elements by tag name method in JavaScript. So before we begin, make sure that you have subscribed to our YouTube channel and press that bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Code. So without any further delay, let's get started. We have been using the document dot get element by ID method for the past few videos, right? We know it is used to access an HTML element with the help of an ID which is uniquely provided to each element. So we used that method with text boxes, then with radio buttons and then with select boxes as well. So today we are going to use a method that is somewhat similar to document.getElementById method. So we'll be using the document.getElementsByTagName method in JavaScript. As the name suggests, this method is used to access a bunch of similar elements with the same tag. So we have tag name in our method, right? So we can access a bunch of tags with similar name. Like if we have a few div tags present in our program and we want to change each div tags style, we can do it with the help of this method. So we'll look at the syntax first and then we'll move on to the difference between id and tag name method. So let's move on to the programming part directly. What we'll do is we'll create a few div tags first and then we'll change the style of these div tags with specific styling properties. We are not going to use CSS for that, but in JavaScript we have other styling properties as well. So we'll be using those styling properties. So let's create the div tags first. We'll write here div and then let's say we are writing it this is section 1 so we'll copy this line and we'll create four similar div tags right we have section 1 2 3 and 4 save it and you can see over here we have four different sections present now this is a very basic example and here we have different sections present right next up We'll try to access these div tags with the help of tag name method. So let's add a button over here and then we'll move on to the JavaScript part. So we'll write here, so let's use the br tag and we'll write here input tag again. We'll write a input type is equals to button and we'll use the on click method as well. So we'll write here on click and let's say our function name is fun2. And then we have the value of this button as let's say submit. Close the input tag and save it. So here you can see we have a button over here submit button. And you can see here nothing is happening on clicking on the submit button. So next up what we are going to do is we are going to add functionality to this submit button. For that we have to move to our JavaScript file and we have to create a function over there. So we'll write here. In the JavaScript file, we'll write here function fun2 and then we have the body of this function, right? So the syntax is a bit similar to that of the document.getElementById method. What we'll do here is we'll take a variable x and then we'll write here document.getElementsByTagName and then we'll write inside the brackets the name of tag we want to access, right? So here we have added four different div tags. So in this case, we'll write here div and we can similarly access any of the tags present in a HTML document. We can access paragraph tags, we can access anchor tags and any tag we want to basically. So save it and here now we have a variable x that holds an HTML collection of all the div tags present inside the HTML file. This means that we have an array of references of all the div tags here inside this variable x. So if we try to make changes in a single array element, just like we did in the select box example, wherein we use the array index to access a particular element present at a particular array index, right? So we can do the same here. We'll write here x and then we'll write the index number. So this particular statement will access the element present at number 1 or this particular syntax will access the first div tag of HTML document because we know arrays start from 0 
and at 0 the first element will be present so this div tag will be present at number 0 and then we are going to use the style property so we know that x here is not a variable only actually x here acts as an object and we know that different objects have certain properties in javascript so style is one of those properties and next up we'll write here let's say font family so what we are doing is we are doing the css part with properties present in javascript so let's say we are changing our font to courier new fine so this is a font name and we can use any font name over here so save it what will happen now is on clicking the submit button the font of this particular section the font of div 1 will change to courier new so let's try if it's happening or not so on clicking the submit button you can see over here the change between this line and other three div tags clearly the font is changed the new font is courier new and what we did here is we changed the font family of this particular div tag so similarly we can make more styling changes to other div tags as well so let's do it here and we'll make changes to each of the div tags we have in a html file so let's say here we are using the color property and we want to change the font color to blue fine then we'll do the same for element present at number three for that we'll write here x and the index number will be two so then again we'll use the style property and then let's say we are writing here font style fine and the font style we want it to be italic and then finally we have one more property let's say for x for the ra repeat so let's say for the last div tag we are using the background color fine and we'll write here the color name is red so we are good to go now save it and we have four different properties over here for section four we are changing the background color so three will be the index number of the last array variable so save it and on pressing the submit button you can see the change over here so for section 1 the font is changed to courier new for section 2 the font color is blue let me zoom it out a bit to show you guys you can see over here the color is blue and then we have italic text in section 3 and finally for section 4 we have the background color as 4 right so you can see how we are accessing any particular element of the array now why we are using these properties separately for each array element so if we try to make changes on each element of the array we simply can't do it in javascript at once so if we try to write here so let's comment this out first what we'll do is we'll write here x dot style dot font family so basically what we want to do is we want to change the font family for all the div tags present right because we know the variable x is holding an array of all the div tags present in a html file right so we'll save it and you can see over here if we are clicking on the submit button you can see nothing is happening so if we go to our console and you can see it over here that we have an error here so it says it cannot set property font family of undefined so this is the problem with this get elements by tag name method to overcome this problem we have a solution as well so the solution for this problem is we have to use the for loop here so how this for loop works so we'll write here for and then we'll take a local variable i and the initial value will be 0 then we'll write here i less than x dot length because we want to traverse the whole array right and then we'll write here the condition i plus plus so we are good to go then we have this body of for loop and inside here we'll write x and the index number will be i because it will keep on changing and we are in a loop so we'll write here dot style and then let's say the style we want to do is font weight and what we want to do is we want to make our font bolder fine so comment this line as well save it now and you can see over here everything is clean now what will happen is on pressing the submit button the font will change the font weight will change basically 
So let me zoom this and if we click on this submit button, you can see the font is more bolder, right? So if we are using another property here, let's say the font we are using here background color and we want the background color to be yellow, fine. So save it and on clicking the submit button, you can see the background color for all the div text for all the four section is changed to yellow, fine. So this is how we can access all the elements of an array at once. Now what we did is we started a loop and traversed every element in the array and applied the same property to each element. So this is how we can do it with the help of tag name method in JavaScript. Now what if we have hundreds of similar elements like div tag present in our website and all of them are present at different locations. So let's try to do it and what we'll do is we'll insert certain different elements in between these div tags. Fine. So we'll include a form and then we'll include some radio buttons and anything we want to do we can do it so we'll add some more elements in between these div tags so here you can see we have inserted two three more elements in between these div tags so save it and you can see after each section we have something else here we have a form with two different text boxes we have name and age and then we have a submit button as well then after that we have section 2 so this is our section 2 then after section 2 we have radio button and the value is a then we have another radio button b and in between we have all the div text present so basically what we want to do is we want to change the style for each of the div text right so we will change the background color here so let's say we'll write here red and what will happen is on clicking the submit button on clicking this submit button what will happen is the background color of each div tag so the background color for section 1 2 3 and 4 will change to red so let's try to do it and let's see if it's working or not so we'll click on the submit button and you can see it over here we have all the div tags with background color as red so this is working totally fine one more thing we'll discuss before wrapping up this video is the uniqueness of id attribute for each element so we are saying this for a long time that the id for each element should be unique why so although we saw in the past videos that we can use the same id for two different elements when we did the same for accessing a css styling property using the id attribute but if we try to do the same thing with javascript we'll get an error for example if we try to access the value of any particular element with the id attribute but we have two elements in a HTML file with the same ID. So it will throw an error in that case basically. And this is the reason why we use the tag name method in JavaScript so that if we want to access multiple elements of the same name, we can do it with this method. Because it's not possible to use the ID method separately for each element present in the HTML document, right? Because we have certain same HTML tags present within an HTML document like we have the div tags here. Similarly, a website is long enough to have multiple similar elements present within it. So that's why we use the document.getElementsByTagName method in JavaScript. I hope you guys got this. So that's all for this video guys. See you in the next one where we'll go through the getElementsByClassName method in JavaScript. And we'll also see the difference between id method, tag name method and class name method so if you like this video do give it a thumbs up if you have any doubts do let us know in the comments share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe simply code thank you